it's Christmas time, and that means Christmas trains on Ron's Trains and Things right now. Hi, I'm Ron of Ron's Trains and Things, and if you'd like to see more model railroad tips, tools, and techniques, then be sure and subscribe down below and click that little bell icon so you can catch future videos. On this special Christmas edition of Ron's Trains and Things, I thought I would bring you a special project from my own household about my own Christmas train. So I'm going to take you right up to the Christmas tree and show you exactly what this project, a little different from my usual videos, are all about. So this is our family Christmas tree in our living room, and I'm very pleased with it. It's a nice Christmas tree, and we enjoy it in the celebration of Christmas. But there's one major problem with this Christmas tree, and the problem is down here. Do you notice the conspicuous absence of a train around this tree? That's what we're going to try to solve today. To solve my problem of needing a train around my Christmas tree, uh, I'm going to uh, some items that I have purchased and that have been gifted to me over the last few years. And what I'm looking at are some classic uh, toy trains, three rail trains of various brands and of various ages. And it's going to kind of show you what I got. Uh, last year at Christmas time, a family member uh, had picked up uh, this old <laughs> Lionel set. Now, not everything is, is in here. Uh, the locomotive has been pulled out and, and uh, one or two of the cars. But uh, this was an old Lionel set that, that uh, I had been, uh, had been given. And I'm, I'm pulling some things from, from this set. Um, a few years ago, uh, another a friend of mine gave me another uh, Lionel Trains set uh, that you'll see includes uh, in here a, a number of, of cars that were a, a part of this set. Uh, again, the, the tenders in here, the locomotive I, I've pulled out, I have it somewhere else, um, which I'll show you a, a little bit later. Um, but also with that set was um, most of what is in this box. This tr um, get it opened up here. Uh, this transformer came with it, and uh, it it wasn't working and still, so that's a, a bit of a problem. But you can see here a large box of track, a couple of structures. Uh, this is a. Uh, 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 90 degree crossover, just a lot of stuff, you know, to, to, to work with here. Uh, and then also, um, at an estate auction a few years ago, I purchased <laughs> this old suitcase. And uh, this had been in an attic for many, many years, and it was chock full of Lionel stuff, including uh, some more cars and a locomotive that I'm going to show you in just a moment. Of course, a lot of this old, uh, really dirty and, and rusty track, uh, an old transformer, again, that had, uh, I believe it works, but the, the cord was, uh, was destroyed on it. Uh, so anyway, I have a, a number of things to pull from. Uh, as far as some of this old three rail stuff is concerned. Uh, what I don't have is good, reliable track, especially considering I'm going to be laying this on the carpet on the floor around my, my train and uh, around my tree. And, and that open three rail track is just not really conducive for that. So we're going to deal with that in a moment. But, but ultimately what I am going to be running is this locomotive. Uh, this is actually an American Flyer locomotive, and uh, this is die-cast construction, a good, heavy locomotive, and I've got a number of cars, uh, some of which are Lionel, some of which are uh, American Flyer 10-plate, but I've made the couplers all compatible, and I'll show you all of that when we get it uh, running around the train in a little bit, but I'm very excited about, uh, about getting this locomotive going. I know that it runs. And I'm excited about getting it running around the tree. So uh, let's go do what needs to be done uh, to get some track up and be ready to run a Christmas train. So to solve my track issues, I ordered a circle of this Lionel Fast Track. This is a 31 inch diameter full circle around the Christmas tree. 
Now this, uh, if you're not familiar with Lionel Fast Track, um, similar to Cotto Unitrack and N Scale or other types of, uh, of sectional track with a road bed included. And the beauty of this is uh, I can use this right on my carpet uh, without having to worry quite so much about it picking up fuzz from the carpet and other such as I would with a regular three rail track. Uh, we'll be dealing with the electrical uh, hookups of this downstairs in just a few moments. And we'll be powering this with the best of the transformers I had from the things that I picked up, uh, which is this uh, Lewis Marks uh, toy train transformer. And I've tested this, and this transformer works really, really well. So we're going to go to the workbench and get this electrically ready uh, to run some trains, and then we're going to come back and put this together and uh, watch it go around the tree. So to prepare to power my track, I need to uh, add some leads onto a section of this track that I can connect to the transformer. Now, if I was using this track uh, on a more permanent layout, uh, I would solder jumpers in between the sections of this track so that uh, it would be more electrically reliable and uh, wouldn't have to uh, rely on the rail joiners to supply electrical conductivity around the track. However, in this particular instance, uh, this is going to be a, a, a track that's just going to be around my tree at Christmas time each year, and I'm going to be taking it up and taking it apart. So soldering jumpers in between the sections, uh, not really an option. So I'm going to just be soldering some feeders onto this in order to supply power to one piece. And then I'm going to try to allow the, the uh, um, rail joiners to to connect it electrically around the circle. If I have issues, I may have to run a, a, a bus and, and do some other connecting, but we're going to hope that that's not the case. Uh, I have a couple of uh, wires uh, here that I'm going to be using for my leads. Uh, I have a, a spade connector on one end that will connect to the transformer itself, and then the other end is just uh, stripped and uh, ready for soldering. In this case, both of my leads are red. That's not what I would do on a layout, but in this case, uh, just around the Christmas tree, I think it'll be fine. Uh, I've taken some time to go ahead and warm up my soldering iron so it's ready. I have some flux here. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to tin uh, the, the ends of these wires. And uh, so I'm gonna start by just uh, putting a little bit of flux on here so that the solder will flow well um, and then um, as I said I've already I've already uh, warmed up my soldering iron and, and made sure my tip was good and clean uh, and so I'm gonna just put a little bit of solder right on the tip of my soldering iron and then touch it to that end and let it get hot and allow the solder to flow right on there <laughs> <laughs> that's going to make this uh, a lot easier whenever I go to actually solder these together. And just let it flow right on. Uh, now I'm going to do the same to the uh, electrical connectors on the easy track. Uh, you see this little plastic joint here and there are connectors right underneath that that I'm going to be soldering these onto. So I'm going to, to tin those as well. Um, start by putting just a little flux. I can do both of these at once, I think. Same procedure. A little solder on my soldering iron and just touch it on there and let it flow. I want to be careful not to hold it too long. I don't want to melt any plastic. Looks like I got a nice little flow of solder on there. Same on this side. And there we go. Now, we should be ready to be able to make a good, quick, and solid joint between the wire and that soldering pad. And uh, come in here and touch our soldering iron to the wire and the pad, get them both hot enough to flow the solder between them. 
and let it sit and cool a second. Trying to touch my soldering iron to both the pad and the wire at the same time so as to flow the solder between both. Let it cool a second. And it looks like I've got a nice shiny um, solder joint, which is which is what I am which is what I am going for here. I'm gonna run them through here underneath this clip. And we're ready to go connect this track together and see if we can get some trains to run around our Christmas tree. Here we are up under the tree. We've got our section of track with our leads that we just soldered on. And here's our transformer. And we're going to start by just connecting these with the little thumb screw terminals on the transformer. And then, uh, of course, the transformer will go around on the back side of the tree where it can be plugged into the wall. And now we're ready just to simply assemble our track. Um, and this track really goes together very simply. If you've never done uh, this kind of unitrack or, or fast track, uh, pieces just slide together and push them together firmly and they snap into place. You can see on the back uh, the little snaps that, that hold them together and uh, we'll just work the whole circle together and make it fit around the tree. There, I think we've got it. I think we're about ready to plug it in and run a train. Okay, and I think that's got all of our train on the track. We're ready to go for our first test run. I am thrilled to have this train running around my tree now. It's wonderful to have this vintage old toy train, the tin plate cars, the Lionel cars. It's great to see them back in action. It's great to have that train running around my tree. I'm really, really happy about it. Well, I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year from all of us here at Ron's Trains and Things. And if you enjoyed this video, here's a link to some more model railroading videos I know that you'll enjoy as well. Also, take a moment to check out the description down below where you'll see my Amazon page, my pick of the week, my Patreon page, and of course links to where you can connect with me on social media. Well, be sure and join me each Tuesday in the new year as I'll be bringing you more great model railroad videos, and I look forward to seeing you then. Ten, Lizzie.